So we will be ending the webcast just after our side HQ boosters. Lock boat complete. Just after our side boosters make their way back down to land on landing zone one and landing zone two, a little after the T plus eight minute mark into flight. And as we've mentioned before, launch is hard and Falcon Heavy is no exception. We are essentially counting down three rockets simultaneously. So our team is going to be conservative in case anything pops up in the last couple minutes of the countdown. This is the mission director, go for launch. And excellent news, all systems are go for launch of Falcon Heavy with USSF 67. T minus 30 seconds. seconds into flight under the power of five million pounds of thrust. Power to launch Falcon Heavy is headed to space. We can throttle down the engines around the T plus 40 second launch in preparation for Max Q. And great call out there that we have passed through Max Q. That's the largest mechanical stress on the ascent. And incredible, incredible views there on here again we will have Biko side booster boost back burn followed by main engine cutoff of the center core here in just a few seconds side booster separation just had Biko and separation of the side boosters and you can see on your left hand screen that the side boosters have lit back up they are now in their boost back burn making their way back down to earth those side boosters are returning to Florida under the power of three engines that's three of the nine M1D engines so next up will be the conclusion Next up will be the conclusion of those side booster boost back burns, followed by Miko on the center core, as well as stage separation of the center core and the second stage, and then SES-1 or second stage engine start one. Now, as I mentioned previously, per the request of our customer, we won't be showing second stage views after SES-1. And additionally, our center core or stage one is expendable today, so we will not be attempting to recover 
that vehicle, but we should have some great views like we are seeing right now. Four, boost back, shut down. We should have some great views of the side boosters touching down for landing. Nico, state separation confirmed. Excellent views. We had the shut Stage one FTS to say has saved. We did have the shutdown of Position the boost signal. back burn. We did have the shutdown of the boost back burns on the side boosters as well as Miko on that center core and stage separation. We are waiting for confirmation of a call out of the fairing separation. All vehicles are following nominal trajectories. So currently stage two is still making its way to its targeted drop-off orbit while the boost the side boosters are making their way back down to land and these side boosters have another burn coming up that will be the entry burn that will be three of nine m1d engines reigniting that helps to slow the boosters down in preparation or as they re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. We've got some views here from those side boosters there on your screen. At the time of separation, the side boosters were traveling slow enough to turn around and make their way back to land, to our side-by-side -side landing pads. If we have successful landings today, we'll mark the 163rd and 164th landing of an orbital class rocket. As I mentioned earlier, the center core it will be expendable and we are not attempting to recover it today. Side core entry burn start up. And there you can see on your screen, the entry burns for the side boosters have begun. They're just about 12 seconds long. PY FTS has saved and NY FTS has saved. And the entry burns for both side boosters have now concluded. Now next up will be the final burn for each of these side boosters. That is the landing burn. It is just a single engine burn, the center E9 engine. Each one of these M1D engines have about 190,000 pounds of thrust. So that is enough to slow the vehicle down just in time for landing. And you can see the coast of Florida in the background. But boosters are transonic. Now that landing burn coming up here in just about 20 seconds or so. Landing burn will last about 20 seconds long. Again, we are scheduled to land on landing zone one and landing Bruce zone two. Landing burn. And there are those landing burns have begun on the side boosters, so let's watch as they touch down. Stage two is on thermal guidance. Stage two, FTS is saved. Booster landing leg deployed. And what an incredible sight to see as we watch the side boosters touch down for landing. That confirms successful landing of both Falcon Heavy side boosters on landing zone one and landing zone two. Now with these two side boosters, this marks the 163rd and 164th overall successful landing of an orbital class rocket. It's also the 25th landing on landing zone one and the sixth landing on landing zone two.